Hey there, welcome to the Shadow Ram 87 channel. On this race, I'm going to be in the Dallara Dash at Gateway. Uh, so last week, I did a race in the Dallara Dash at Kentucky. It went pretty well, I finished P2. Uh, so let's see how this one goes. Good, bad, and different. Who knows? Stay tuned. or anything I didn't practice. Nice. So here we are at Gateway Motorsports Park in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, I don't have a lot good to say about St. Louis as I'm a Cubs fan. Uh, so we're back in the Dollars uh, for Dollar Dash. Unfortunately, kind of a small field. Uh, did qualify on pole. I ran faster than anything I run in practice up to that point. Uh, so I don't, we're, we're just going to see kind of... It, it says there's six people registered for this race. Uh, one manually disconnected, so unless that person comes back, we're maybe five. Uh, so yeah, we're just starting on pole, and we're going to see uh, what we could do here. As long as nobody just flat wrecks me, uh, we should be good. Uh, so... kind of run down here the turn one and two you do have to woe up for woe up is a technical term for slow down uh, and then three and four thus far I've from what I've practiced and this is a 30 lap race I never did a quite a 30 lap run but it was flat out the entire time practicing so uh, should be interesting again if you're going flat out into one and two, which we will be on the start, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Just uh, look to see if, if I go to tap the brakes, if the people behind me tap the same brakes. <laughs> if they use the same brakes I'm using. Uh, and whether or not that's my fault or not. So it does look like there are six of us. Uh, I am in VR this time, back in the good old trusty VR. And we're getting ready to go green here. So strap them on tight. Good launch. Bit of blip through the throttle there in the uh, through one and two. Just uh, wait for the tires to warm up. Like I said, we can go flat out into three and four. And here we go. Okay. Lap one down, 29 to go. Oh, I slowed up too much there. I forgot what gear I was in. Practice run fifth. It just hit six for the end of the straight. I'm down in the fifth for the corner. I'm not super sure if I need to come down to fifth here and then kind of back up in the sixth right here. I, I, I was trying to move over for him. One thing did not get to practice was, with, was uh, draft. Uh, obviously, these Indy cars really aero sensitive. So, 
If this guy makes the pass, not really sure. Okay, got to stick right there into the line. Get a little wiggle. Okay, so that's probably what we're going to need to do until we get a good gap here. Again, flat out through here. Definitely, it's <laughs> trying to pin it down there. I'll go around. Again, very little experience in this car. Uh, I drove it, obviously, uh, at Kentucky. So I don't have my crew chief. I just realized my crew chief's not on. I had turned him on earlier, and he was on. I forget when you turn, start a new session, he goes away. So, doing this without a crew chief, so no spotting. Izzy Low is going to be pretty much based on sound. And uh, I feel like I'm making excuses for a later wreck already. I, I feel like I'm, I'm faster than this guy through one and two. But then just 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 draft right like uh, and then through three or four as long as we're both holding it flat out, he's losing a little bit of downforce. And right there, if he wants to go around, he can go around. I feel like almost like that. I don't know if I'm faster through that line, but I can. I can hold them off there. Whereas the three and four are really advantageous to get as close to that white line as possible, kind of keep it there. And even then, like, God, like, you, from what I'm seeing through my eyeballs, is I get a good gap, but he just, he can pull right back up uh, just because of the draft. And it, I, that, that's. That's the art form of this racing, I guess. I let it drift up a little high there. I guess on the flip side, through a corner, you could take away his uh, arrow. Like, I don't know if he's messing with me at this point, and he may very well be. Um, Shifting mid corner uh, upsets the car a little bit. Right there, God. Like, I want to get enough distance away from him that he can't use the draft <laughs> and just kind of let myself. Because I, I, I think I'm just faster 1v1, but maybe not. Like I said, he could be totally playing with me at this one. I have no idea. Just it just doesn't seem like it. it seems like I'm faster through one and two which is really where you make or break speed and then three and four will go flat out and just pulls right back up so Ah, 
I don't really want to be here. I'd rather be up top. Fuck. Sorry, man. Didn't mean to do that. Did not die. Uh, that sucked. And I, I said going down, I was like, I don't want to be on the bottom, and it just washed up. Uh, that sucks. We were clearly the ones to beat there. Uh, well, that sucks. I mean, came here to watch a good race. It, w it was going to be at the halfway, and I just, I, I made a dumb mistake there. Uh, and uh, if this, as soon as that speed limit comes off, it's like, and we gone. Door, don't use the speed limit, Clint. Well, Sadly, still running third. Number five. I don't know if I'm right behind the leader. I should probably switch my view. Or not my view, sorry. Go to the other telemetry. I can't remember what it's called right now. I don't know what time. Uh, the relative. Yeah, leader's right in front of me. Well, back a lap down. Back one lap down. It's kind of sick to my stomach there that I did that. I don't like to race that way, and I wasn't trying to. I was trying to be clean. I just, I hadn't been in that position, I guess. And uh, I didn't, I didn't really anticipate, and that's why, like during practice and stuff, I try to get around people. Uh, I end up too off, too, too often running by myself, and you don't really get a feel for how the car reacts, right? Even uh, at Kentucky in the last race, right? It was uh, I was by myself. For most of that race, even like I raced a couple that guy for a couple laps, but prior to that, in a practice situation, I hadn't. Uh, that's a little bit wider track, so obviously got more banking uh, than this. This is a pretty flat track, and even uh, I didn't record it, but the uh, practice before the race session, uh, it took me about 
10 laps to get to where I felt comfortable with the car uh, around this track. Like, I kind of just built up speed each lap. You know, because, like, you look at this, you think it's a flat track. And, again, if you're from a stock car mindset, you would, you would never in a million years hold it out unless you had a death wish. Uh, but then, like, this one, this turn looks more banked, but it's a tighter radius. So, I think that, and that was, you know, I didn't know the track. I've never raced here, even in any car. So. I would, I would, I would be very interested in this track, or this track, not this track, this car at a, a road course or street course or something like that. Um, we're gonna see how that goes because I think, I think that for sure would take me a lot longer to get used to. Those fireworks should have been for me. <laughs> oh well. Uh, we're gonna come home. P3. Uh, out of, well, I guess four remaining cars running. Well, that sucks. One of these days, those fireworks are gonna be for me. one day. Hey there, thanks again for watching. Uh, why don't you uh, maybe hit the subscribe or like or something along those lines and uh, support the channel. Uh, I love making this content and I hope you love it too. If you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments. Any, any uh, comments, also leave in the comments. Uh, and thanks again for watching. Have a great week.